and welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today the 12th of january happy thursday to you all interesting day ahead on markets let's have a look at what's come across the news right now of course we had a positive session on wall street again with indices breaching key levels to the upside we have got us earnings season kicking off this week as we've already discussed and the cpi data out tonight is in focus that's going to be a big number in terms of sentiment us futures are fairly near neutral and Asian indices are following that US lead. The ASX is up around about 1%, and European equity futures are pointing to a higher open. VIX is down slightly, not surprisingly, on that equity strength. And we are seeing the US dollar index pretty flat over the last few days, just above those aim and flows, and it appears to have paused before this key data out later on today. The Japanese yen has looked strong for most of the Asian session so far. Gold has breached a key 1875 level that we referenced earlier in the week. And copper continues its surge upwards, is at seven month highs now, and looks as though it might even get near 420, which is the next important level after that $4 that it broke through the other day. All is holding above the 2022 lows. It is in a tight range, but towards the top of that range in today's trading. Bitcoin, interestingly, has surged in Asia and now is near early November highs. We've seen continued buying pressure on it throughout the morning, with 19,000 the next target if this momentum continues it'll be interesting to see if we get some selling once it gets near 19,000 if that pushes through to the next level on the data front it's all about the cpi and earnings today also we've got us weekly jobs to add to market thinking in terms of where to next a couple of charts of quarter eye today i'm going to start with the canadian dollar yen and you can see uh, that yen strength today on this four hourly candle down towards this key 98 level plenty of downside in this but it doesn't look as though as the appetite yet to breach it if we look at a 30 minute chart you'll see this in more detail so you'll see these long wicks with this test of 98 but failing to break through so one needs to be patient with this and it may be as with many forex pairs we get the substantial moves after that data this evening on the ASX, Mesoblast is one of the stocks under a dollar that we referenced in a session last week. And you can see this is pushing up towards this key 95 level after this reversal. If we breach through this, we could see ourselves up to this $1 level where the 200 EMA sits. That's quite an interesting little trade potentially uh, for around about 5.7% return. Medium term, we actually like where this company is. If we just take it out a little bit, you can see there's plenty of upside in this if we do breach a dollar. Uh, certainly in the first instance, a dollar eight, that's another 8% you can add to it, which is probably the more established key level uh, of interest in the long term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.